I find it very worthwhile to do a lot of soul searching. One of my recent soul searches in these recent years was political base. I'm a political person, so I do a lot of political soul searching. How do I become more effective politically? And one insight I had was in the past, I tried so hard to convince people of things. And that wasn't the most effective way. Interestingly, this became a prelude to an even deeper insight. I was looking at a political campaigning book and it said the purpose of elections is not to persuade people, but to activate your supporters, is how it put it. That is very powerful because I wasted so much energy trying to convince people. I did the best I possibly could in that way, but it was the wrong paradigm. Recently, I looked once again at Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And one chapter stood out. It is You Can't Win an Argument, where he fully deals with that insight I had. He said, no matter how good you are at logic and argument, you still can't persuade people. He says, what usually happens is people become more strong in their positions every time you have an argument, no matter how good it is. I think this is generally true. The time you persuade people are few and far between. I have taken logic classes and critical thinking classes in college. I was a philosophy major. Now, I had good arguments when I debated Christians. It didn't matter. You see this going all the time with Westboro Baptist Church. Not them so much, but all their opponents. On occasion, you'll have people say it's futile to debate them. But you don't hear this enough. People try to persuade them. They'll say things like, isn't God about love? And then they'll give their arguments. I don't plan to try to persuade them to go out of their views. I would certainly be flattered if one of them wanted to follow me into the way of liberation, but I have given up arguing. An argument is not something I want to be into anymore. I see it as a ghost of the past. Westboro Baptist Church is certainly not right, in much of what they do, but arguing with them is not going to persuade them. Them of all people, they are very firm and convicted, as wrong as they may be. So you could do yourself a favor by not arguing with them. What purpose do you do when you argue with them? You get to vent, you get to Get rid of some of those terrible feelings on your chest. But you're not going to be effective. It's an elusive goal. It's something that you can't attain. It's like chasing your tail. Dale Carnegie is dead right on this one. Though much of the world is the opposite way. And as I mentioned earlier in this commentary... In the political realm, it is most prevalent and most important because people like me have perceived politics to be a debating arena, but it doesn't matter. People are going to vote for who they want to vote for no matter what. I look back and I saw people trying to persuade me that debates weren't a good idea. They were trying to tell me People are going to be on their side no matter what, except for maybe a few people. And that, I realize in retrospect, is very true. You may be able to persuade a handful of people, but Westboro Baptist Church are not going to be one of those people you can persuade. They are not easily persuaded. Dale Carnegie also had a good idea in one of his books. He said, in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, he said, if you want to influence somebody, make them think an idea is their own. 
some members of Westboro Baptist Church have left the church, indeed. Did they do it because you told them to? No, it was because they had personal insights. They had revelations. They had epiphany. Uh, they had certain thoughts. Think about that. They will leave when they want to leave, if they want to leave. And you have no, or at least very, very little, role in that. It would be wiser to not argue with Westboro Baptist Church. Or now, as I am realizing, for anyone, with anyone for that matter. 